I do have a SCR troubleshooting video that I did. You look back, I think it's about five minutes long or so, and I go through a signal generator and everything, how I troubleshooted a, uh, a VAV that had SCR heat control in it. It was providing outside air to a, a mechanical room. So that would be a good reference point. If you want a good visual, you can reference back to. This is your input powers, your leaving powers going to the heaters, your power wires, you've got your signal, and you've got your common. Just, and you're going to troubleshoot this the same way. You know, majority of the time, they're going to be a 0 to 10, or maybe a 0 to 5. Actually, I'll take that back. 0 to 10, 0 to 5 are the two most common I see. Usually, if an automation company actually installed it, then it will be like a 0 to 10. If it is a factory uh, controlled device, and if I remember correctly, the service call I ran was actually that way. It was not an automation company that it put the controller in there. It was a factory controller that was receiving input from an automation controller, but the factory controller ran the SCR relay. Or heater. What it did is it had a temperature thermistor in the leaving side of the VAV and that there was a dial to where you could adjust the leaving air temp and depending on where you set that temp adjusted how much it tried to control the SCR. So that's a very common setup. You, it, it's a 50-50 shot. A lot of the times those may be or those will be a 0 to 5 they could also be 0 to 10. And then on a rare occasion, I'm not even sure honestly if actually I have seen one, but on a rare occasion you might run into a 4 to 20 milli 